Hey, 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 y'all, what's going on? What's going on? What I want to know is, are you ready for the holidays? Because if you're not, I got the perfect recipe for you. Stay with me, and we're going to bring it all together. And what I'm throwing down on today is a holiday cornbread stuffing. So I got, it looks like a lot of ingredients, but we're gonna dump them all in, go to a casserole dish. I got my oven preheated at 350 degrees and we'll be good to go. So first thing we wanna do, I got my skillet getting hot. And while it's getting hot, I'm gonna run through the ingredients. Of course, the little piggies, have always decided to join me. One is pepper, the other is salt. Then I've got, um, I got about five or six strips of uh, cut up bacon, chopped, chopped in chunks. I've got two whole onions, some celery, some chopped up pecans. The real star is I got Granny Smith apples. Um, I got a big bowl here of uh, store-bought uh, uh, bread crumbs the bread stuffing, is cornbread stuffing. It's the label in the store when you're looking for it. You can find it on any aisle. Then I've got a little uh, sage and some thyme here that we're gonna add. So my skillet's getting hot, and what I'm gonna do is just start putting in my bacon. I chopped it in chunks, but I wanna spread it all around. We're gonna just brown this bacon and render off the fat. And that will be what we will use um, to saute our vegetables in. I like the natural flavor of bacon uh, oil for my vegetables. We're gonna get them in there. Let me grab a spoon. So we're just gonna work this around and let this brown. Once it browns, guys, we're gonna pull the bacon out and start sauteing our vegetables. All right, guys, the bacon is browning nicely. We want it to really crisp up. And you see that oil and the brown bits in there and everything? That's Nothing but flavor. I always take the back of your spoon and kind of rake them in and add them in to everything that you got going on. They are, you want to get them good and crispy because they're going to add just a little bit of crunch to the stuffing. Just like that. They're almost there. I left my bacon a little chunky, but if you don't like yours this big, you can always chop them, chop it just a little smaller. I typically buy the thick bacon. All right, so just about there, and obviously they'll finish cooking a little bit. So what we're gonna do, we don't even have to take our bacon out, y'all. All we gotta do is we're gonna go right in and saute our onions. those around a bit. And then we're gonna add our celery. And this, as you can see, it's a pretty nice sized bowl of celery. I use about three stalks and two um, yeah, medium sized onions. I wanna work all of this flavor around in here. Um, Give it a nice hit of some pepper. A little bit more. And a little bit of salt just for our vegetables. I'm gonna 
and work that around. There's quite a few vegetables, so we're gonna probably let these saute about four, five minutes, whenever they become soft and fragrant. And so, while they're doing that, I'm gonna grab my knife and I've got some, um, some sage here. You cut off the stems. I mean, when I think about sage, it just speaks um, holiday, just the smell alone. And we just get us a rough chop. Same with our time. because it's so much so that the ones on the top cook just as evenly. softening up nicely. So what I want to do is uh, add now I can kind of turn a little bit of color so I want to add my herbs. So I go with my across here. I got these old big old hands and they don't do well with little bitty stuff. This is some, uh, come with my sage. I'm gonna work these around. Smells wonderful. Smells like the holiday, y'all. Walking to mama's house around the holiday time, you smell this, you know it's going down. Right. Got all of that incorporated. Really good. Right. While that's going on, let it cook for just a little bit longer. And what I'm doing with this uh, stuffing, y'all, is just building flavors. That's it. And I got a good uh, medium heat on my skillet. You don't want to burn nothing. As you can see, ain't nothing burning. It's just taking its time and, and sauteing and everything is coming together. And you know when it's coming together, you can smell it. So now, the real treat, I told y'all, now that that's all incorporated, I got two Granny Smith apples going in. I know y'all at home saying, woo, yep, yep, I'm doing it. We're gonna work those around. And Granny Smith apples is gonna add the sweetness that we're looking for. because I keep adding more ingredients. 
and I want everything to incorporate and cook in. And now lastly, we're going in with some chopped pecans. I'm right, gonna work them around, same way. I mean, this looks so good, it looked like you could almost just take a spoon for the list and eat it by itself. what I call your holiday herbs in here. You've got pecans that speaks holiday. This is great. I'm gonna turn it and get those apples down in there and get them to soften up a bit. Now, while that's going on, I got me a big bowl here. And I've got my um, cornbread crumbs. Should look like I almost need a bigger bowl. Mm-hmm. I have a big glass because I want y'all to see it, but I don't think that's going to be big enough. I'm going to have to do something a little bigger than that. This one is much bigger. Hmm. Well, let's see. You know, when you're in the kitchen cooking, sometimes it's always about improvising. So how about, since I might, I'll just do two bowls. That's what I'll do. It's all going to the same place. But I needed a monster bowl. This is about ready. The apples have even, you can see the edges of them that they kind of turn and soft. It's exactly what you want. dishes that you know you really can do the day before you don't have to do everything on Thanksgiving or Christmas morning you got enough other stuff to do you put it in your refrigerator so turn that off and what we're gonna do I'm gonna put half of it in this bowl since they're so big, maybe I can, I'll be able to incorporate them all into my casserole and the other half in here. So that I can get a good mix. I didn't want to overdo my bowls. Well, I can't get no doggone good mix. And so my recipe calls for y'all uh, four cups of chicken broth or chicken stock whatever you call it. So we'll just go two in each. Now we just stir it and incorporate it real good. Just like that. We're gonna get started adding it in here now that it's incorporated. Yeah. It's crucial that you get a good stir on it. You want to get down in there. A lot of people use their hands. I ain't gonna use mine because I know it may be a little hot. And really, what I'm doing wrong is I need a bigger bowl. 
but it's pretty incorporated because I did two bowls. So I'm gonna get my casserole dish and sit it here. And just go right in with it. We're gonna smooth it out. And y'all know I had some butter out to show you my ingredients and I stuck it back in the refrigerator and I'm gonna show you why. Okay, so we just smooth that out like that. Pack it up. And then I'm gonna sit it right here for a second. I'm gonna grab my butter out of the refrigerator and I wanted it to be a little hard, that's why I put it back in there. And I'm just gonna cut me some slices. And I used about a half a stick of butter. Now y'all, I want you to know, I, uh, I, I, I really appreciate when y'all leave comments. So, you know, when you're looking at the videos and looking at this video, and you want to drop me a, a line, go ahead and send me a comment. And uh, I read them. And when I have the time and can, I respond to them. So uh, I really appreciate them. And I appreciate your comments. And I appreciate you telling people about my channel. Um, because it's important that I'm able to share great recipes with you guys. All right, so what I like to do is cover it up with foil. And I'm gonna cook it for about, I'm gonna bake it in the oven for about 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna double cover it because I, I want it to really seal. Then the last 15, 20 minutes or so, I take this foil off because I want it to brown. about my foil. I really like for it to be cuffed and tucked. Because the reason you put foil on is to seal something. Well, you can't just lay it across the top. You gotta cuff it and crimp it on the edges. Okay, like that. All right, so I'm going to the oven. We're gonna drop this baby in at 350 degrees, 30 minutes uncovered, and then the last 10 or 15 minutes, we take this off. Uh, we'll take it off and uh, let it brown. Okay, y'all. I just pulled it out. Now, you can't tell me that that doesn't look absolutely delicious. In the baking process, I left it in for 30 minutes, and then I um, took the fall off because I really wanted that brown crust and that crunch. But when you bite into this with the bacon and the apples, all oh, you gonna know it's holiday time. Listen, I wanna thank all of you guys that are following, following me on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't, uh, after watching this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can keep up with me as I create new delicious recipes. Uh, also, I think I told you earlier, I'm always listening uh, and reading your comments. So drop a few lines in there and let, let, let me know what you think about my recipes. Until next time, all I can say is bon appetit. <laughs>